Hey Trail Riders, welcome back to the Daily Ride. Hope you guys are doing well. Today we're going to be talking about we are all charismatics. Our scriptures that get us through the Bible in a year are Micah 1 1 through Micah 4 verse 13, Psalm 145 8 through 13, Proverbs 31 8 and 9, and Revelations 13 1 through 18. Again, we're going to be talking about we are all charismatics. Our scripture focus today is going to be Psalm 145, 11 and 12. And it says this, They will speak of the glory of your kingdom and will declare your might, informing all people of your mighty acts. Psalm 145, 11 and 12. A man once shared with a weekly Bible study group that he had believed their church lacked visible evidence of the Holy Spirit's natural power. One of the group remonstrated with him and said, Do you use that word supernatural here? It frightens me and upsets me. Isn't it sad that a Christian, and there are many others who share his dislike, can be afraid of one of the most valid and needed ministries in the church today? supernatural power. The word supernatural means beyond the powers of nature or miraculous. How much of that goes on in today's church can be explained by the word, this word. If you are saying to yourself, this seems to be strongly supporting the charismatic movement, then let me make a clear what this what I'm trying to say here today on this subject. I believe every Christian is a charismatic. For the word charisma simply means gifts of grace. And every Christian has at least one basic gift. Hence, every Christian is charismatic. The reason why the charismatic movement came into prominence was because of the reluctance of many to face up to the fact that the supernatural signs and wonders are a part of God's program for His church in the present day. I know the movement has caused divisions, and there are signs that the emphasis is now diminishing. But whether it diminishes or not, one of the th one thing remains sure. God wants His people to demonstrate to the world that the signs, wonders, and miracles the early church experienced are still a part of His purpose today. Something to really think about. Let's go to the Lord in prayer. Our Father, help us to think these things through and take away any fears that we might have of the supernatural. Show us that your church is can be explained only in natural terms in millions of miles from this mark. And it's in Jesus' name we ask these things. Amen. Hey guys, for further study on this subject, go to and read Romans chapter 15. Read Mark 16, 17 through 20. Acts 4, 29 through 30. And then verse 33. And keep these two questions in mind. One, what was Paul's testimony? Two, what is recorded of the early disciples? God bless you guys. I hope you'll continually follow me here on the Daily Ride. And I hope to see you on the next trail ride.